building an app or building any type of business is something that can give you control over your time, your finances, really just control over how you spend your life. Having an entity of your own can provide you with lifestyle freedom and flexibility. And that's an amazing thing. But a lot of entrepreneurs who create their own venture with that idea of control and flexibility in their minds, they realize on the other side that what they've actually created for themselves is just another job. And the next step they often take is to start thinking about how to scale the business beyond just themselves so that they can step out of having that second job they've created. Now, scaling oftentimes means putting a team in place around you, hiring other people with you as the business owner, becoming the manager, the person who helps people do what they need to do so that you don't have to do it. And that can be great. But what I've learned is that a lot of people who create their own businesses, they don't actually want that. They don't want the team around them. They don't want to become the manager. They really want to stay a solopreneur while still being able to scale their business. Now, a lot of people say that that's not a reality. You can't grow unless you have the people around you. But actually, you can. If you understand how to leverage no-code tools and automations in all the right ways, you can build a business that operates as if it has a team of 10, 20 people with just you at the core. You can keep that control. You can create the flexibility that you're after, but without having to become the manager of the business. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how. First, you have to understand the five key areas of your business that you can automate and scale with no code. So the first is lead generation. In other words, how do you find prospective customers? The second one is lead nurture. In other words, once you've found prospective customers, how do you nurture them or keep them in your world if they're not quite yet ready to buy what it is you're selling? Now, after that, we have sales. How do you convert those leads into your users or your customers? From there, we have fulfillment. Fulfillment is essentially how you deliver what it is you're selling, your product, or maybe your service. And from there, we have retention and upsell. In other words, how do you increase your customer's lifetime value. These are the five core components of your business. And when you can leverage automation and no code in each of these areas in the right ways, then you can start to scale your business without creating a 50, 60, 80 hour per week job for yourself and without hiring a big team around you. Hey, before we go any further, we're about to launch the very first edition of Scale It Solo, which is a newsletter that delivers a new piece of content to you every single week on how to leverage no-code tools, build automation into your business and scale as a solopreneur. So to get the first edition of that, sign up using the link in the description below or the one that you see on the screen right here. Now, there are a lot of different ways you can use no-code tools and automation to help you scale each of these business components. But in this video, we're going to go through each of these areas and I'm going to give you one simple example of how you can add automation and one scaled example. Okay, let's start with a simple example for lead generation. Let's say that you use social platforms to create content that drives prospective users or customers to you. So I have a YouTube video here. And again, this is just an example of what's possible to do. But one thing that I could do, if, if I wanna create one YouTube video as a piece of content marketing, but I wanna be able to use that YouTube video to help myself create, let's say 10 other pieces of content marketing, but I don't wanna do that myself. Now, a lot of people will hire content marketing teams around them to do this, but 
one simple thing you can do is go to your YouTube video and grab the transcript from it. So I'm getting the transcript here on one of my videos and you can just copy portions of the transcript. So I'm not going to be specific here, but just for the just for the sake of this example, you can copy it and then head over to ChatGPT and you can type in here something like create a blog post from this transcript and then paste the transcript and then ChatGPT is going to generate a blog post for you. OK, so you can see that happening right here. Now, there are ways you can, of course, get specific about this, and this is not a tutorial on how to use uh, ChatGPT, but I do want to show you a way that you can really simply start to scale something like this. It doesn't have to be with a video transcript. You can do it the other way around. You can take a blog post, an article that you've written, and put it in here and have ChatGPT pull out Facebook posts or Twitter posts that you can use for your content marketing. So this is a really simple way to start to scale your lead generation as a solopreneur. Of course, that's still going to require manual work from you. So let's talk about a scaled example for lead generation. So I'm over here on Bubbles homepage. Now let's say that content marketing is a really big part of your lead generation strategy, organic content marketing. And you wanna have a tool that does what we went through with that chat GPT example, but a lot more specifically. Let's say you want to be able to put in a video transcript and have it create a blog post and five Facebook posts and five Twitter posts and um, even Instagram posts. And you want each one of those to adhere to each different platform's guidelines. Okay, you could come on to Bubble and build a custom app that does all of that for you. Okay, so you can have a essentially a content marketing team around you, but just with a custom app that you've built specific to your needs. That's of course gonna be more complex, more time intensive upfront as an investment to get this up and running. But this is that more scaled version of how you can grow without having that entire team around you. Okay, so we've covered a couple examples for lead generation. Let's now talk about lead nurture. Okay, a simple and then a scaled example for how you can nurture those prospective customers that you've brought to you so that when they're ready to buy your product, your app, your service, they're already in your world. Let's start with a simple example. I'm over here on activecampaign.com, which is an email marketing service. So on, on a very simple side, you could sign up for an email marketing service like this. It could be Active Campaign. It could be another one. And you can start to create um, email automation series or sequences where when someone subscribes to be on your email newsletter, for example, well, instead of you manually sending them content, every week or every few days, for example, well, you can create these automated email sequences where you put together the content once and hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, however many people can go through it again and again and again as if it's brand new. As a slightly more scaled example, you can take those automated email sequences as far as you want. You know, you want to nurture your leads so that they're in your world and they're being helped by you so that when they need more help, you're the person who they go to. But you don't want to constantly be prompting someone to sign up for your app or your product or your service. You want to do it at the right time and with the right people. That's what builds trust and keeps them around. Something you can do with these automated email sequences is start leveraging things like tags, where if someone clicks on certain links within certain emails, you can add a tag to that contact in your system, showing that they are interested in one thing in particular. Or maybe you've realized that when someone takes a certain action, like clicking on a link, they're likely ready to take that next step up with the service or the app or the help that you offer. And you can add a tag that then 
puts them into another automation and starts to bring them into that next level offer. So you can really scale this up as much as you want and customize it exactly how you'd like. Let's get into sales now. Okay, so you have those prospective customers in your world, how you turn them into your actual paying customers. As a simple example, let's go back to Active Campaign. Active Campaign has a sales pipeline tool built in. Now, there are plenty of sales pipeline tools out there that you can use, but I'm using Active Campaign as an example because that's a tool that we use. But on a, a simple level, you can use a tool like this to essentially manage your sales cycle, to delegate these prospective customers into certain phases of the cycle. Maybe you run demo calls, maybe you run sales calls. Well, this can help you manage all of that. And as people go into different parts of your sales cycle, you can automate things like emails. Maybe they are getting on demo calls and you wanna send out automated emails to help them uh, make sure they show up at the right time to the right place. Uh, there are many, many ways you can swing this, but this is a really simple way to start streamlining your sales cycle without actually having a full sales team around you. That said, as a much more scaled way to go about this, you could create your very own custom sales management software. Now I'm on an app called Sales Rabbit or the landing page rather, and I've never actually used this. It's just an example that I found, but this is a custom sales management tool for a very specific business niche. Now, a lot of our own clients have built things just like this, but for their own businesses or for their industries. And this is something where if you really want to scale things up and make absolutely no compromises with how you run your own systems, you could use a platform like Bubble to build your own sales management tool and you can make it as easy and streamlined for yourself as you want. Okay, let's talk about fulfillment now. This is essentially how you deliver something to your user, your client, your customer. Now, if you are building an app or you have an app based business, then this can include the actual app, but it goes beyond that too. We're looking at the systems and the process, processes that you have in place. Think SOPs that help you deliver to your client, to your customers. So essentially everything that goes on internally that helps your customers get results. Okay, so let's say you work with clients, you have a service-based business, and you wanna better manage those clients and the projects that you take them through. Well, you could use a tool like Notion and you can create a custom dashboard, just a simple dashboard for yourself. And I've, I've pulled up an existing template here. I've never used this template, but just to give you an idea, uh, you can create every single step or phase that a client might go through or that a project might go through. You can create your own ways to track it and you can essentially just build a dashboard for yourself without having to get too much into the weeds on the tech side of things. So this would be, again, a more simple example. You could keep your client notes here. You could track the status of the project and uh, add any notes along the way, maybe once you want your client to be able to see. So there's a lot you can do by taking some really simple steps with a tool like this. On the scaled side though, you could build your own custom app that helps manage every single client and project that you have. You could use a platform like Bubble, for example, to take automatically the, uh, if, if someone signs up to work with you and you're tracking that through your sales process, maybe in a tool like Active Campaign. Well, as soon as in that tool, someone is, um, you know, they've paid, well, you can automatically trigger in your own app for that person's information to be imported and for a client profile to be created for them with a specific timeline shown and certain milestones with uh, pre-populated due dates. And as they go through the project or through the timeline, you can have automated emails trigger to be sent out to them or maybe to be sent out to you through your email marketing service. Um, you know, you can do all of this 
completely custom for your business. Now I'm using this as an example because this is a tool that we've built for ourselves. So we have a custom uh, management tool like this that creates a ton of automation in our business. And that's something that you could do too. Okay, let's talk about retention and upsell. In other words, how do you take someone who is already a customer, client, or user and keep them around as a customer, client, or user for longer? On the simple side, let's say you are running an app as a business and you have tracked generally how long a user stays on board, the length of time that they typically stay on. Well, you could set up an automated series of emails from your email marketing service to be sent out to a user once they are approaching the tail end of that average time frame, And that could just help re-engage them, maybe introduce them to the product further. That's a really good way to just keep them on board longer without you actually doing anything aside from gathering the data in the first place. On the flip side, as a more scaled example of retention and upsell, let's say that you deliver a service that happens over a specific period of time. Well, once one of your customers or clients is reaching the end of that timeline, you can have an automated series of emails go out to them that introduces them to a next level service or product, so to speak. So maybe it's a premium service on top of a product that they've gone through. For example, all of this can be done in a very automated way. And it doesn't have to be automated in terms of the communication, but maybe there's just an automated email series that goes out that offers them the chance to jump on a more premium one-on-one -on -one call, right? So you can, again, swing this in a lot of different ways, but it's a way that you can scale without having to manually keep track of everything or have someone else manually doing that for you. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can scale a business and there's no right or wrong. There's really only right or wrong for you based on your goals. But if you wanna scale your business, without just creating a really time consuming job for yourself or without building a really big team around you and becoming the manager of things, then you need to start digging into these areas to leverage no code and automation to do a lot of this work for you. And look, if you wanna start bringing no-code tools and automation into your own business processes, we're about to launch the very first edition of Scale It Solo, which is a newsletter that's gonna deliver new content to you every single week on how to leverage no-code tools, build automation into your business, and help you scale as a solopreneur. So if you want that type of help, then sign up using the link below or the link on the screen that you see right now. All right, I hope this was helpful and we'll see you in the next one.